Hey everyone, I wanted to come on and do another vlog style video because, well, the comment I was about to write on a video was too long and I thought it would be easier to do it in video form and plus I can share it with you guys, not just the creator of the video. And the comment was going to be on Diego Doom's review of the new SH Monster Arts Wolf Predator. And first of all, big shout out to Diego Doom. I love watching his reviews. He gets all the awesome Japanese import, hyper articulated stuff way before, well, me. Uh, yeah, I guess he orders them direct from Japan as opposed to like waiting for Amazon, like, you know, people who are lazier like I am. But uh, he also has great reviews, very detailed. If you haven't watched his stuff, I definitely recommend checking out his videos. And I was really, really looking forward to watching him do the Alien and Predator Monster Arts reviews. And the Alien one came out, and I was pretty lukewarm on the figure, seeing all the detail on it. it to me, it just didn't seem like it was enough of an improvement over the NECA to justify, what, four times the price at least? And, you know, it wasn't a big deal. I was still thinking maybe I'll pick it up, maybe I won't. And then I saw it in person, and it was a little small, so I was like, oh, I'll pass. It's not something I need. But the Predator, I was still like, well, this looks like a little mini hot toy. Like, that could be really cool. Especially because, I mean, what we got from NECA is this, the highly statue Yeah, I mean, you've seen me review these guys. These are the older Predators that NECA did, the first Predators NECA did, and they're not great. Though they are supposed to be making new ones, but, you know, it's going to be ways on the road. Yeah, I still haven't gotten the first AVP from them, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. But I got to say, I was so disappointed watching this video, watching the details on the figure. And whatever I'm going to say, I don't want it to come across that I'm critiquing the video itself. The video quality itself was great. The review was great. Just the figure itself is what I'm critiquing here without actually having it in hand, but just getting my first hand look because I've had a lot of you guys asking me if I'm going to get these figures and the answer is no. Uh, just straight up, no, I'm not going to spend my money on them. Uh, the Alien, like I said, it was kind of a toss up, but I didn't feel like there was enough value for my money there. There's some cool stuff and I wouldn't mind having it, but it's just not worth what I'm going to invest to get it. But Wolf, so disappointing. And the first thing on it that's been controversial is the paint job. I don't think it's the worst. It's not as good as the prototype. I don't think it's as good as NECA's. NECA's isn't even great on these, but it's not nearly that good. There just doesn't seem to be as good of a blending technique going on. It's a little flat, basically. It's They didn't blend the colors together in a way that looked realistic. They just kind of threw them on there. So that's a bummer. It's not a killer for the figure, but it's a bummer. And details like the scarring on the face and stuff, I don't think were handled particularly well, but you know, that's minimal stuff. The overall body sculpt of the Predator is fine. The articulation looks really good. It looks up to par with any of the SH figure arts guys. He has the really hyper articulated legs, multiple joints in the torso, the arms move great. The armor is as flexible as I think it probably could be. And I didn't even know the uh, chest plate armor was going to be die cast. That's, that's pretty sweet. That's cool. It seems like it would make it impossible to balance with die cast on the upper body. I didn't pay that close of attention. You might have had it somewhere in the feet too. But I was already like too concerned with, oh my gosh, this figure by that point. What, what kills me on it is the really the swap out parts. The accessories kill this figure for me. The mandibles don't look good. I think it's a pain in the butt that with NECA we have to buy multiple figures to get the mouth in different positions. I and mean, basically every hero predator we basically have to buy three of. Or NECA wants us to buy three of. We get masked and then we get unmasked with closed mandibles, unmasked with open mandibles. And of course things like the jungle hunter that we've seen so many of, there's even a greater range there. This guy has two heads, one with the mask on, which is cool, looks fine to me, and a second with the mandibles, and then you can actually pull them out like hot toys and replace them, open or shut, but they just don't look right. They have a very heavy seam to them, and they 
just not impressed with the execution on them one bit. They really do just look distracting on his face. I think I would keep it masked at all times if I had it, just because it's not that good looking. And then from that point, there's just some major lacking and inaccuracies to it. And let, let me remind everybody, we're talking about a $60 figure here that is smaller than a NECA figure. Not by much, but a little smaller. So I think my complaints, to me at least, seem valid for what's going on here. First off, we're talking about the cleaner kit here. Obviously a big part of the beginning of the film, and that's important, beginning of the film, beginning of Wolf in the movie. It doesn't open or anything, I didn't really expect it to, but it comes with the vial of dissolving liquid, but they give him a spot to hold it like on his bandolier, like somewhere over here, and stuff's falling off my Predator, and that's never a good sign. <laughs> but I believe the liquid, correct me if I'm wrong, belongs in this, belongs inside the med kit. But maybe it's weird, but I would rather not be able to store the dissolving liquid on the figure at all than to have it fit into a random pouch just for the hell of it. That stuff goes in the med kit, along with uh, what Xenopedia calls the tracking syringe. I guess they called it the cylinder in the instruction booklet for the figure. That should go in there too. Once again, didn't expect it to actually go inside the pack. Would have been cool, but uh, it obviously does not, but there's nowhere to store that on the figure, so I don't know why the liquid couldn't just not store on the figure either. And then back to the backside of the Predator, we do get one advantage over NECA. NECA's never had a version that will hold the combi staff on his back, as far as I remember. Theirs does. That's pretty cool. But, I bring in my second NECA Wolf Predator here. There is no spot on the figure to house a second plasma caster, nor does it come with a second plasma caster. It's fairly early on in the film that he picks that up, and a little disappointing that there's nowhere to put it on the figure at all. And you can make the argument that, kind of like what NECA did, you almost kind of have the cleaner version, and then you have the further into the movie version, after cleanup's over, when he's just onto war mode. But Wolf's missing something else. Actually, several something else's. All the weapons that Wolf stores on the front of his torso are conspicuously absent on the Monster Arts version. All of the laser mines. There's holes for them. They're not on the figure. The shurikens, I'm pretty sure I'm seeing pegs that they should peg into. Not on the figure. Those are fairly important weapons and very much influenced the look of the entire Predator. It's not too often in the film you see him with just a brown bandolier. He always kind of has at least a couple of those mines on him, at least in my memory. I might be tainted by the NECA figure, but I know he's fairly far into the movie by the time he's exhausted all those weapons. And that's a little disappointing. That really just doesn't fit for me. And what I really feel like Monster Arts should have done was either make a more expensive figure and just deck it out with everything or to do what NECA's done and what Hot Toys has done and just give us two different versions of the Wolf Predator. Give us the cleaner version, give him with all his accessories on his bandolier and the cleaner kit and the cleaner accessories and maybe leave out the whip, maybe leave out the extended combi spear, things like that. And then do another version, the battle version, and take the cleaner kit away from that one, but give him the second plasma caster. You can even take away some of the stuff on his bandolier, or all the stuff. You could swap them between the versions. It could be incentive to buy more than one. I don't know. You can do it where the cleaner version is unmasked and the battle version is a masked version. There's a lot of ways you could have just mixed and matched, made it more cost effective, or like I said, just increase the price and give you everything. It's a bummer that they didn't go that route. I think it's very disappointing. And these kind of seem like nitpicky details, but once again, it's not a cheap figure. It's not a high-end figure, but it's a middle-end action figure and is a little more expensive than your standard fare. And I think it's just a little disappointing that he doesn't come with everything he's supposed to and doesn't have as much cool stuff as he needs to have. Every Predator movie, past the original, has decked out their Predators with ridiculous quantities of weapons. And as the series has gone on, it's gotten worse and worse. And Predators brought a little more back to basics, but 
if you're gonna decide to go and do wolf predator you basically need to be prepared to put everything on them if you didn't want to put that much stuff you should have done jungle hunter jungle hunter is very simple jungle hunter would have worked very well with what they did here there's not a whole lot to him he's wrist blades plasma caster masked unmasked wrist gauntlet that's about it nothing else no throwing weapons no mines no nothing but as I said, I'm not picking up this figure. Sorry to anybody who is really hoping I would review it. I'll wait two or three more years until NECA redoes theirs and probably be happy with that. So I'm going to leave a link. I'll have it as an annotation somewhere up here and I'll also put it in the below bar just in case you're not watching on somewhere you can click links in the video. But I'll send you over to Diego Doom's excellent review of the figure. Very in-depth, very beautifully shot. I'm always so impressed with the video quality of his reviews I'm, I'm frankly a little jealous but uh great review check him out and then comment below let me know are you gonna get this figure are you interested in this does this have a place in a predator collection that's primarily NECA am I being overly judgmental on this piece and especially reviewing it without actually having it in hand am I just being a predator elitist or something stupid like that i don't know but let me know below i'll see you guys later